Welcome to SNAP Level 4 Programming. In this video, we'll show you how to work with different Finch blocks or outputs in regular SNAP. The Finch blocks have been placed in the Motion, Looks, Sounds, and Sensing categories. Typically, the Finch blocks will be found at the bottom of each category. For now, we'll just go over Motion, Looks, and Sound. We'll start with the Motion category. Your Finch blocks here will include the Move Finch left and right and the Stop block. The Move Finch left and right block controls the power of the left and right wheels of the bot. The range on both wheels goes from negative 100 to 100. For example, if you put 100 as the value in both the right and left, that will result in the bot moving forward at full speed. And if you put negative 100 as the value, the bot will move backwards at full speed. You can also test any block before placing it into a program to see what it will do. Try this. Set the Move Finch left side at 50 and the right side at negative 50. Now click the block and your Finch bot should start turning. To stop the bot, click Stop Finch. The Stop Finch block is pretty self-explanatory. Put this at the end of any program to stop your Finch bot. Next, let's move on to looks. Here we only have the Finch LED block. This will adjust the color of the Finch bot's beak. The R, G, and B options control the intensity of the red, green, and blue elements in the beak. The colors range from 0 to 100 and can be mixed to create other colors. And now we have the sounds category. Here we have the Finch buzzer and the Finch buzzer plus weight. The standard Finch buzzer block plays the buzzer with the sound of the frequency specified for the time specified. The frequency can range from 20 to 20,000. The Finch Buzzer plus Weight block essentially does the same thing. The difference between the two is that here, it causes Snap to halt the program for the time specified before it completes another action. Also in the sound category, we have the Save This block. When anything is typed into the text box, the program will speak through your computer speakers. Hello. Now that we know some basics, let's put together a simple dance with the Finch blocks we've covered so far. Let's start off by pulling in a control block that starts the program by pressing a certain key. In this case, we'll keep it on the spacebar. Now let's move the bot forward at a speed of 50 and turn the beak a sort of bluish green. Now I'll head back to the controls and bring in a wait block. This will pause the program in between functions for however many seconds you type in. I'll set it to pause for one second. After the wait block, let's move the bot backwards at a speed of negative 50 and turn the beak red.
All right, now let's add some sound. I'll go with a buzzer plus weight block and change the frequency to 880. Then I'll go with a standard buzzer block with its default settings. And finally, I'll add a stop finch block to end the program. Now when I press the spacebar, my new program should run. And now you know how to work with the finch block outputs in Level 4 Snap Programming. For more info, check out our other tutorials on YouTube.